Hey, this is Fee, Diamond in the Rough. Uh, welcome back to my channel. This is sitting in, um, this is, I'm doing, this is here for some little bit of a trip, some tips and tricks. We all get canvases that are just not quite right, um, and you have folds in because of the way they're packaged. Um, these aren't too bad. These are DIY Moon and these are actually really good. I'm, I'm, I am actually happy with these. However, I probably could get a couple of these with slight little folds out, just which of course from being in the boxes. Now, people use hair dryer, uh, sorry, people use irons. I actually use a hair dryer. I've used hair, hair dryers on my bigger ones, um, but it was too um, unmanageable to do it on camera because there's so much I need to reach out so much so I thought when I got a small one I'd give you a demonstration of what I do to resolve an issue with um, anything that's got folds that I want to straighten out without pulling out the iron so I just have a good old trusty hair dryer that goes hang on I'll get this paws around the right way so I tip over it Okay, so I've got a hairdryer that has hot and cold setting, turbo on it, and it is old. <laughs> I've had this one for a while. But the reason why I use a hairdryer um, is a hairdryer, I find that after I've used a hairdryer on these, I can actually put my hand down on it, which will actually take away the heat really quickly. What it will also do, and although it's not an issue because this is really tacky, what you will find is a hairdryer will probably help if you've got glue that's not very sticky because you're actually semi-melting the glue and when you put the plastic down you're sealing it up and you should be getting a better stick with that glue. Um, so with the hairdryer method I tend to work on the back side first to try and look at the real, um, the really specific spots I want to look at. And then once I've done that, I will then go and work on the top because some of these creases are there, won't come out unless, hang on, some of the creases won't get out, come out unless you actually get it out of the plastic itself. So before you start, you want to try and get that plastic down flush. Um, you want to get the plastic down better and you might seem by doing that that just takes out that initial point of a fold. I do prefer to use my ruler but I'm just trying to think outside the square for something else now I'll stick with the ruler. Um, the ruler's got the metal ruler has got a really good sharp and I can get it. But yeah, so that's how I go there with that side of it. Next, turn it over. Now you're going to get a fair amount of noise, especially considering I've fixed my sound. I will try and drop the volume on this and possibly do a voiceover. Who knows? We'll see.
okay so there is a resume noticeable difference I still got what looks like a bit of a fold there and a bit of one there but it's not as like it was as a demonstration of how I dealt with it is I hold the end I lift and I actually have the hair dry blowing and I pull and stretch so that then that helps that come out so I've got weight on this side with one hand and pulling and stretching with the other and then directing the heat directly to where I want it so I'll go again and with the hair dryer because I'm not covering it up like you do when you use iron you put towels down over top because I'm using the hairdryer I can directly target those specific spots but that back of that is just so much better right now to the front so this is where with the clear cover I will drop it down here I won't go into the high speed mode which is I will actually bring it down to a lesser speed Initially, I'm just trying to put some warmth on the glue. Okay. So this is, it's still tacky. So now I've actually uncovered one side of the glue. Just going to stretch it out a little bit. What I'm going to do is yet again, I'll put weight on this side. I'm going to pull this side, and then I'm going to use the gun, uh, use the gun, use the hair dryer, but not on a high heat. before it cools down, put that back on there. I have yet to lose sticky doing this method. Um, okay. Some of that at the top is actually just in the plastic, but some of it is not. So now I'm going to do this side, pull this back. Actually, you'll find that on there, there's probably a little bit of a bubble there, there, in comparison to just like that. So this helps the plastic go back down and hold it. But now I've done that side, I've done that side. What I want to do is go this area and this area by keeping it even. So doing that one and that one, I may have caused a... a a section in the middle not being covered properly. So by doing, turning it around and working on this side, it means that I've covered these bits that may not. If that makes sense. Gives you the opportunity to get the plastic down on every angle nice and smooth. But And that plastic just goes down so much nicer as well. With this one.
So this plastic is now just smooth. Okay. Just one and then just what I'm doing there. So I put a lot of high heat on that, and I've just put my hand down to pull that heat out as quickly as possible. So still sticky, tacky. The plastic's down smoother, okay, and back of the canvas, we still have just a little bit, but um, if this was a bigger canvas, I would actually spend a lot more time on it. Actually. So that's it there. I'm happy with that one. I mean, I was happy with it beforehand, but this is more a, a demonstration. For me, because I'm going away, this will... I don't know whether this will be the first one I do on the plane or the first trip or whether I do or which one I do on the reverse. But what I can now do is simply clamp that and um, put it in my um, carrier luggage and I'll have no issue with um, getting that out and using it when I am ready to go, when I'm up in the air. Okay, so Panda. Put that to the side. Panda, here's the same thing. There's actually no issue. Oh, very slight. Very slight, but... This is, you would not complain about this, but this is just. I more do this because I want to. I want to get this nice and clean, nice and straight. So I'm just going to lift this up. Because we all like, like the covers to be nice and simple. Um, shouldn't say it's not necessarily what I mean simple, I mean smooth. I'm going to get rid of as much of those. So now you can see, can you hear that? Nothing there. How many of us lift the plastic covers up and we're constantly trying to get it right? Hair dryer, quick blast the hair dryer, just seems to be the key. Now that's down smooth. So he's good to go and yet again he's a brilliant size for a plane or oh, for like on a light pad. In a way he's almost too small but um, still workable and in reality let's get a little closer look up here. In reality he doesn't need a light pad. So I could probably just not even worry about a light pattern trying to get one. Same as this one. That just needs me to wear my glasses. But yeah, that's how I use a hairdryer on a canvas. 
just to get it that, just that little bit smoother. Um, I, I think I've only had one canvas where I've had to really work a canvas and um, that is the Lion family uh, which I've nearly completed. That one is yeah fantastic it's no issue at all. Um, wouldn't even you wouldn't even be able to tell that there was any issue with it and I will say it was a clear cover. Uh, we seem to have a misconception that if it's got a clear cover it's going to be okay. It won't, when it arrives, it won't look like it's folded or anything like that. It'll just come straight out. That is an absolute misconception because if you go back and look at my unboxing of, um, either my unboxing or my kidding up, I'll put them both up in the corner. Um, I'll show you those. And if you have a look, you will see where I have received the canvas in not a very good condition and I have had to work at it and it's been a clear cover. So there we go. Hopefully that's given you a little, a different way to tackle things without having to pull out the dreaded iron and ironing board out. The great thing is you put the air directly on the canvas and you can see where you're putting it so you can really target the heat where you need to target the heat. And by putting your hand straight over, it does get a tad warm, but when you put your hand straight over, you're drawing that heat out immediately out of the canvas instead of sitting there. Um, so that's just a couple of little tricks. Um, hopefully you like that. And um, yeah, I will catch you later. Bye for now.